Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Welcome back here from the Better Business Bureau, Jason Mesa, and it is a sad reality, but thieves are working overtime to try to get their hands on your money and your personal information. And Jason, some of their attempts are pretty convincing. I know you're seeing this, aren't you? Yeah, it's pretty bad when we say the scammers, the bad guys are getting better at yeah. their technology. And they are. They are, unfortunately. So that's, who can you trust in this day and age, especially if you're an iPhone user? Well, I was going to say, you've got your phone out because yeah. really that, that's, uh, you're looking across the state and you're seeing uh, scams that involve the iPhone. That's right. A lot of scammers are impersonating Apple technology, using it to their own benefit. In other mm -hmm. words, they're spoofing the company. So if you see an Apple Inc. Uh, pop up like you see there, you'll see several attempts for them to call you reach out saying you have issues with your software you need to call back or you need to visit that link or you need to uh, write in or do something to contact well, and, and it looks like the call is coming from Apple correct right? correct you'll see multiple missed calls you see a canceled call and that home page link it says HTTP there's no security s in that link. right so that's an unsecure website so again there's multiple attempts to get you to hand over your money hand over your personal information and then ID theft could happen. Yeah, and, and again, you get fooled because you think, well, this is Apple. These right. are the this is the real deal. These are the real folks. Unfortunately, it's getting worse. And again, for our Apple users in the coastal bend, we've seen a couple of phishing attempts. Mm -hmm. uh, here, we've seen some money lost here and there as well. The average loss about four hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and it is growing. It is the seventh riskiest scam in the state uh, last year. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you've got some advice here for folks to try not to fall for this. First of all. Do not trust your caller ID. Again, who can you trust? It's one of those things where it can be spoofed, it can be used against you. They can make it appear as it's coming from Apple, IRS, Social Security. We've mm -hmm. seen it all over the place. So it can look, even look like it's someone you know or a business you trust or someone you trust. So again, if you see a link or a caller ID, um, ID that you recognize, yeah. it might not be that person. Might not be real. them. No. The other thing that you've got here, let's put it on the screen, contact customer service. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean, by the way, call back the number that they tell you. That's hey, right. Call us if you don't believe it. Here's a number. Classic tech support scam where they make it easy for you. Oh, you can just call this number we provided for you on the screen. Yeah. That's a direct link to the bad guys. So indeed, you want to start the process yourself. Initiate a search. Go to Apple support, and then you find the correct number. And they have a verification process. It's a uh, it's pretty lengthy and it's good yeah. built yeah. in to protect you. You need that. So mm -hmm. make sure you're calling the right customer service. And the last one here, never give your personal info. Treat it like it's money, not candy going out the door. <laughs> it's, it's very simple. I mean, it's it's it, data is king nowadays. Yeah. So if you can protect your personal data, anything down to your, your birth date, to your address, your email, all that is sacred. So really guard it and just know who you're giving it to. Yeah. Okay, folks, you need to go to our website, ChrisTV.com and read more. We've got the article there for you. This is so important. Make sure you keep yourself safe. Thanks for being here. Appreciate Thank you, it. Yes, sir.